Oh, it's a high-powered rifle, assault rifle. Multiple rounds fired at the officer. Six inches higher, three inches to the left. It goes right through the driver's windshield, and he takes it probably right in the chest. Here is a young man in our community that levels a rifle looking to kill a police officer. Top Providence police officials say a bullet was inches away from killing an officer early this morning. 31 year old Luis Roman has been arrested after police say he fired a rifle at an officer and led them on a manhunt. The scary moments not only taking an emotional toll on those involved at the scene, but really departments all across our area. Cranston's chief of police says the shooting's been on the top of mind of his officers as well, highlighting the everyday dangers of the job. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo spoke to him at Cranston's National Night Out event. Sheena. Well, the chief says anytime something dangerous like this happens, really anywhere, it can hit home for all the men and women serving our communities. An emotional morning in Providence after authorities say a man shot at a police officer hitting his cruiser. Commander Thomas Verdi says they're fortunate. The officer wasn't hit and is still alive. This is, uh, this is serious. This is sick. It's sad. Very sad. Myself and the commander and the commissioner talk about this. We've had in our time, our errors on the police department, four Providence police officers killed in the line of duty. And uh, it's real. This is real. In neighboring Cranston, Police Chief Colonel Michael Winquist says these types of situations often impact all those serving in law enforcement. So anytime um, and every officers are in place in harm's way, uh, we, we're so happy that that officer wasn't injured. But it gets you thinking because we deal with a lot of those calls as well. Domestic calls are one of the most dangerous calls we go to. So it, we're very glad that it worked out the way that nobody got seriously injured. We spoke to him during the Garden City Summer Concert Series Wednesday, where several Cranston police Police officers spent their night. He says the goal here is to connect with the community in a relaxed setting. We can't do our jobs alone uh, to solve crime and solve problems in our neighborhood. We need the input from our community. Winquist says by speaking to an officer face to face, he hopes people will realize officers are human too and they're approachable, sharing the goal of keeping everyone safe. A lot of people out there um, support us, I know that, but the people that don't support us, we want to have a conversation and find out why. Where can we strengthen those relationships? So um, there is a lot of crime throughout the country. We're fortunate in Cranston, the crime rates are very low. It's actually been um, reduced over the last 10 years or so. So we want to keep it that way. And again, without our community partners, without the citizens, we can't solve these problems. And the chief says this was the first big event they've had like this since the beginning of the pandemic, but he hopes to have more in the fall, possibly an open house at the Cranston Police Department. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.